Module 3, the right to health and workplace policies. Key issues addressed in this module. Challenges with provision of adequate safety and occupational health services within mines. Overcrowded and inadequate accommodation for miners. Limited to no access to TV screening services. Absence of strong workplace policies that support minors. Lack of support programs when minors are on treatment. Absence of occupational health services post-employment. Tinashe has worked for different mines in the Midlands province of Zimbabwe for the past 25 years. In all the five mines he has worked, there has not been adequate safety and occupational health systems to protect workers. The accommodation provided by the mines has always been inadequate and their spouses could not visit them. During all these years, he has seen a lot of colleagues fall sick and being diagnosed with TB. However, most of them are only diagnosed with TB once they have left work due to continuous illness and limited capacity to work. Even those who get treatments and try to come back to work often fail to cope with the rigors of work. Some are not even admitted back into work because the employers feel that they will be likely to fall sick again. Tinashe has been worried about his own welfare and is scared of what will happen to him if he falls sick. He really wants some information on how he can access treatment when he falls sick and how he can also access occupational health post-employment. All mine workers have the right to health and safety. Miners need to identify and report practices that put them at risk and exposes their health. Employers are supposed to provide adequate health and safety services for miners and ex-miners. Miners and ex-miners need to know how to ensure their health is protected through appropriate health and safety measures, accessible screening and treatment services, and adequate occupational health support post-employment. During work breaks, Tinashe discusses with his colleagues about the dangers they face due to inadequate safety, screening, treatment, and support. Some of his colleagues warn him that these were the issues that get them fired. One colleague highlighted there is a need to utilize the workers' union to raise this issue with mine management. They collected all safety and health concerns which they will share with mine management. Key takeaway messages. Mining companies have a responsibility to provide adequate health and safety services for employees. There should be workplace policies that articulate mining companies' responsibilities towards mine employees. Miners need to engage employers to address practices that put them at risk and exposes their health. Employers are supposed to provide adequate health and safety services for minors and ex-minors. Minors and ex-minors need to be provided with information on how to ensure their health is protected through appropriate health and safety measures, accessible screening and treatment services, and adequate occupational health support post-employment. Did you understand that?